What's up guys? Why does it keep saying low battery? My phone says low battery. You're my phone. My uh, my camera says low battery even though it's got full battery. I think it's just a glitch. Um, I was just listening to the song Ecstasy by Young Thug. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly's on that track. I heard this song uh, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago. My sister was showing me it and it's awesome. It is an awesome song. Ecstasy, drugs. Um, see, this is the thing, like with me, I'm not a fan of, you know, a lot of music that talks about drugs and stuff like that, but this beat was just too good. I mean, it's it's such great music to work out to. And what I had heard in a Ralph Smart video was that um, a lot of artists don't live the lifestyle that they promote. Some do, um, but he was saying Future, you know that Percocet, Malet Percocet, that song, he doesn't do drugs. So he's just, he's just creating an image because he knows that this is what's popular. Um, and it's true. I mean, you're getting a lot of these, this is what's in right now. You know what I mean? Like rapping about drugs and partying and stuff like that. And I don't know if this has always been the case. Um, I know that the dynamic has changed in the 80s. was like, don't do drugs. 90s. I saw this video a while ago that was talking about that. In the 90s, it was like, you know, I don't want to sell drugs, but I'm trying to get by. And then 2000s and up, it's been like kind of like a party era sort of thing. But uh, what, yeah, so Ralph was saying that, you know, Future, this rapper doesn't do drugs. He just raps about the that lifestyle because he knows it's going to get him, you know, hits. He knows it's going to get him radio play and stuff like that. Or maybe if not radio play, like, um, it's going to make him more popular. Well, speaking of this song Ecstasy, I looked up Young Thug and as it turns out, his girlfriend was saying that he doesn't use drugs either. You know, so he's sitting here rapping about drugs, doing drugs, and I guess he doesn't do drugs. So, again, here's another rapper that is saying one thing and doing another thing. Also, you know, a lot of these rappers rap about being players and stuff, yet they are like, and this is not always the case, um, but a lot of these guys have, like, girlfriends, like, in, our, in committed relationships. So, again, Young Thug, perfect example. He's been with this woman for a long time. And I think they broke up at one point, and he was like, he was urging, he said, he was urging her, I guess, you know, that we could work it out, you know, um, and they got back together. So, again, it's the promotion of a lifestyle that might not be... What's up, guys? I don't know where the camera cut off, when the camera cut off. Um, what was happening was, it wasn't my battery, it was that my memory was full. So that's the reason I didn't, I didn't know that my camera was keeping log of all that. But anyway... The, what was it, um, so basically, I, I'm not sure where I left off, but Bruno Mars is another example of this, in that he, you know, 24 karat magic, talking about being a player, talking about being a player, he's got a girlfriend too, you know, he's in a committed relationship, now again, I don't know if that means he is actually following that lifestyle where he's cheating, or he's, you know, she knows that he's seen multiple women, but I don't think that's the case. I honestly think, from what I'm picking up, is that he is, you know, in a committed, loyal relationship. But again, for the song, you know, it makes it, you know, 24 Karat Magic sounds a little bit more party and fantasy-like when you're talking about, you know, waking up with a bunch of, you know, sexy women who want to have sex with you. You know, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's this, there's an allure to that, um, kind of a, there's this playboy, I forget what his name is, Dan Blitzering or something, Blizzarian, Bilzerian, um, and this dude basically kind of lives that playboy lifestyle where, you know, he's really, he made a lot of money off of poker, now he's in all these different businesses, but he's constantly like putting his life out on Instagram, and the reason he does this is to actually attract more women, but he um, he's always partying with these women and he you know have, he's having sex with all these different women and they know it and it's just like he's able to live this sort of lifestyle actually live this lifestyle and for a lot of um, for a lot of people I, I I'll speak for the male experience like a lot of men 
look at this and go, wow, that's so cool. You know, it's sort of like a, a fantasy concept. If they don't necessarily, if they're in a marriage that maybe they're not 100% satisfied with, they got kids and they're busy at their job all the time. So it's this fantasy, there's a fantasy aspect to the music that, you know, a lot of these artists may not be living, but they're creating this allure because they know that is it's going to get sort of attention. So, I mean, you can take what you want from this information, but I just found it interesting that some of the same dudes talking about being big party animals and doing these drugs and being players are the same people that are not doing any of those things, are not doing drugs, are in committed relationships. It's just interesting because it kind of shows what is, what is, how are they playing off of the desires of, of society? And how are they actually living their life? So I just found that interesting. Just want to share that. Cool beans, guys. Peace. And again, this is not for all artists. You know what I mean? This is just for a few that I've noticed. And like I said, you know, I saw Ralph Smart video where he's talking about future. And that one really, because his whole song is Percocet, Molly Percocet. He doesn't even do Molly or Percocet. So I found that, I just found that interesting. So anyway, cool beans, guys. Peace. Have a good one.